Everyone, welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. Today we have a uh, wheated lineup from a various distilleries. It's a pretty stout lineup, and as Brady would say, it's a bourbon a budget, a budget wheated segment. Uh, you want to tell us what we got? Yeah, so we've got uh, Makers coming in at 90 proof and about $25. Uh, Weller Special Reserve at 90 proof, $30. And I know that's hard to find in some places, but we're not too far from the story, so we can consistently get it at 30. The Old Elk's coming in at 92 proof and it's about $40. And the Bardstown Bourbon Company is 100 proof and it's coming in around $50. Um, these are all weeded bourbons because they're at least 51% corn and then the next dominant grain in the mash bill is wheat. So none of these are four grains, none of them have rye. They're all corn, wheat, malted barley, and we're going to be trying them all blind to see what the best value is. Alright, well, are we starting from which end, Chris? <coughs> Left to right. Alright, well the first glass. So it's a good variety, you know, to bring to the table. Um, some people hate wheat, despise wheat, and some people enjoy wheat. So we're excited to bring you uh, what our what our pilots are lining up. We we discussed prior to the video kind of what we thought was going to shake out. So it's always interested to see what our prior thoughts to to uh, actually tasting and seeing what our pilots line up to for tonight. So. This one to me has got some heavy caramel. My palate's a little off. This one's got a little bit of burn to it. It's got some nice coffee and, and uh, coffee. Caramel and toffee, a little combination there. It's a little fruity too on the back end, I like that. I feel like the finish is definitely fruity. The, the yeah. you know to what the Jamaican was saying over there, it is. It does burn a little bit on the on the finish going down. Um, it's it's complex, and considering I mean, we don't know which one this is, but they're all under fifty dollars. That's pretty nice having something complex <laughs> like that. Yeah. At under a hundred proof, hundred proof or less, and under fifty dollars. Yeah, that's not bad. So we're on to glass number two. Oh, glass number two smells like a a dessert dessert. Yeah, it's definitely uh, lighter on on the nose than than glass one. It uh, it's almost like a funnel cake smell. I agree with that. What'd you say last week? Uh, old book basement. I get that dusty, really dusty. Yeah, you oil. got a taste, you do taste like that. So when you drink it, it's almost like a old grandma's old cellar down in the basement, dirt floor basement. What's crazy is I get a little oatmeal on it. Yeah. I don't know why. Like maybe because y'all over here talking about grandmas and shit. But <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm getting a little bit of a oh man a cake. Like I a get cake. oatmeal. I get that powdered sugar on the nose and that real real heavy dusty note and on the palate it's thick and it's got mm. some really nice it's I agree oatmeal cookie but I'm getting um but you don't like raisins <laughs> or Chris don't like raisins I don't like raisins <laughs> I, I, I actually despise raisins getting a little chocolate on the back end that yeah. I like it's really nice milk chocolate finish yeah but nice. it, it's got it's got that tongue coating that i enjoy on, on any kind of taste in a bourbon like it for it, sure it's definitely heavy on the tongue and like brady said on the back end it definitely it gives you that chocolatey uh dessert type of oh, yeah. finish but i get oatmeal on the nose like i get the dusty book and and you know you walk into a, kind of like a musty little basement or whatever and you kind of get that smell of just old yeah. and that's a Number two is definitely yeah. ahead of number one. The other thing too about weeded bourbons is they're normally pretty oily. They've got a nice viscosity, but sometimes they can be really grainy. Yeah. If they're not done right. I haven't got much grain. Uh, on I haven't at all either. So far. No, but I've had some craft. I've had weeded bourbons from some craft distilleries, and it's just it's like chewing on a piece of wheat. Yeah. All right. So have you ever class? really? 
chewed on a piece of weed before? A long time ago. Maybe time. when I was younger. This one smells like it's got more proof to it. Yeah. This one smells more floral. I'm really not getting a whole lot on it. Honestly. It's a little dusty. Similar to the last one. And then I'm just getting all ethanol. Which is weird because none of these are barrel proof. Well, one of them is bottle and bond, right? Mm hmm. So probably this is probably the one. Mmm. This is surprising. It's a unique taste. Butterscotch. Yeah. Butterscotch, what a cake. But it's a. Uh, it's not as much viscosity as a uh, glass no. number two. That one's the thinnest in my opinion, but it's got, man, hug, <laughs> Kentucky hug. I feel that one, I feel that one all the way down. For all you people outside of Kentucky, what's your hug called? You know? <laughs> like, uh, that's a, uh, everybody's got their different little lingo or whatever. But, uh, but definitely it's, comment it comment in the section would you would you call that that, that burn. warm burn feeling in your chest you know because uh, we we got the whole cliche of the Kentucky hug here and you know I've watched several different reviews for people and each to each his own everybody's got their own little little saying there so curious to what you guys call it. Here's another dessert. That's crazy. I'm getting a lot of desserts tonight. We going back to number four? Yeah, I'm trying to compare it to the previous ones as I go along. Number one is just so viscous and so complex, but I'm a sucker for that butterscotch note. So number three, to me, is beating out number one so far. But yeah, number, number, two, is number two is a front runner. Number yeah. three is also. Number one, I really like that fruity note, but it's... I'm getting something, I'm getting a little bit of a floral on the back end that's kind of pulling away from it. For number me, three. I all get, number one. I get a, I get floral on number three. Really? Yeah. All I get, I just get butterscotch and heat. But we'll see. Yeah, number one is pretty Like floral. the floral is more nose, nose driven than it is that on the finish. Like I definitely get, like I get the floral more than the dusty note on number three. Number two is definitely you know, you open up a old, old library book that you stole from fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, I, I, I definitely get that floral note. That's really about it. It's kind of a one noter for me. It tastes floral. It tastes like it got thyme in it, like a cooking spice thyme. I get a nice, like vanilla and oak. And then it goes floral for me. It's got a really nice viscosity though. Number three is the only one in my opinion that's thin. I'm not sure which one that is. Yeah, but I felt like number one was a little thin for me or uh, for my taste. Um, I definitely agree number three is definitely thin, but number one was kind of kind of thin for me as well. Number four definitely feels like a, a, a Buffalo Trace glass in my opinion. I've, I told Chris before him, I've never been too impressed with Weller Special Reserve. I was really happy I got my first bottle, got it in Ohio for 25 bucks, and I was like, yes, let's go. They, you know, they mark them up for like 50 and 60 at the time, yeah. and I opened it, and I was like, that, that's a $25 bottle. Yeah. Special it's, Reserve put me on to weeded bourbons, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Like, when I first got in the game of, of chasing bourbon, it, uh, I had the same reaction that Brady had, you know, I couldn't wait to call my buddies and tell them I got a weather, you know, and, it's and all in the name. sending pictures and all that stuff. And like, it blew my mind that years ago that it was considered just a bottom shelf and now it's blown up to the, to the height that it's at now. Yeah, they were all bottom shelf at one point. And, you know, I, uh, I picked up a couple of different bottles of, of the, green green label weather and i'm i'm kind of on the same page as brady now it's that it's not too much to get hyped about if you can find it at the 30 bucks you gotta pick it up That's like i'm not saying that you don't pick it up at all but i'll uh 
based off of my previous history and my taste buds, I'll, I'll be surprised if number four isn't the weather. So I'm excited to see where we're at. I'm gonna go back and, and taste it, taste all four real quick before I put mine in order and uh, kind of feel right now, my number two. Number two is definitely Number two is here. the front runner for me. I keep going back to number one, hoping that it tastes a little bit better than it did, but I'm kind of I'm kind of at number three to hit a number number one, but I do I get I get like a chocolate sundae like a banana split kind of kind of nose on number one. I'm inching back and forth between four and one as my second favorite, but this has so much floral, but then this has so much more. Number one's got a lot of heat to it. It's funny, but stuff like this just goes to show that everybody's different. And it always makes me laugh when we do blinds like this. Cause like number one, I didn't get a whole lot of heat at all. I and I didn't get very that. much foro at all. I, to me, it was just, it was like a caramel and like a cherry and that's it. I mean, it was good, very viscous, but you know what I mean? It's like, just because somebody says, hey, this bottle's worth $300 and it's the best thing I've ever had, doesn't mean it's gonna be the same for you, yeah. you know? Number three, number three's got a long finish. If you're if you're into the long finish, it's, a, it's got great legs on, the, on it. it, it it's every, got a great color to it. Every time I go back to three, I like it more and more. And that's how I'm feeling. Like it, each time that I've gone back to it, it's like, I'm, I'm still I'm over that, here that, dancing with two and three, you know. To me, it still tastes like a. I never herb. got. I never got that though. I never got the herb either. It's I never, just butterscotch. I keep to me. trying to go back to it and, and do it, but the more that I go back to number one, the more I go back to number one, I'm picking up a banana split. Like it's crazy. On number one? Yeah, that's crazy. That interesting. That's on the nose though. Like that's not what I I feel like in the finish. But on the nose, it feels like I'm I'm back at uh, at the at the first dairy in my hometown. Well, I think I got mines lined out. Wish I knew what one was. I need <laughs> I need one more sip. Number four. Number four is uh, is very mute. It's. Um, not a long finish on it. It drinks at 90 proof, 100%, and it's not much there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you refer to it as a one noter. Yep. And every single thing you just said, I completely agree with. Like I mean, I, number four, it's not. It's it's definitely no complexity there. There's that. There's not that. Oh, what am I picking up this time when I go back to it? When I continue to go back to it, it's not. It doesn't impress me, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. So we're going to all agree that pretty much number two, number four is our least favorite. Number two has been our most favorite. I, I'm still dancing between two and three. Chris is still deciding, but I told Chris beforehand, my couple opinions were every time I predict a bond beforehand, <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> Shell thinks it's hilarious. I said that every time I drink Weller, I'm disappointed. So for my luck, it'll be in first. But Weller to me has always been a one noter. I think Weller's last four. I told, but I'll, I the agree. other the other thing I told Chris is I've been drinking a little bit of Makers recently, and it's really surprising to me because I <laughs> Makers to me I don't ever buy it because I'm like ah oh, it's just, you know it's a bottom shelf bottle. But every but. Every time I've been drinking it the last couple of months, I'm like, that's really good. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's either glass one or two. Well the suspense is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not ready. I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. When I go back to number two, I picked up a cigar tobacco note. I got that on like when I went to glass number two when I just went back to it. I got it that on like, three. All right, I'm, I promise I'm taking one more sip, guys, and then I'm gonna be ready to review what I need, <laughs> what what my order is. Okay. Let us know in the comments if there's another weeded bourbon you guys um, 
think it would fit in this category as a, a budget. I know the big one really is Green River weeded bourbon, but um, we did that. I don't. Earlier. I don't have a. I don't have a bottle of that to throw into this, but I have tried it and it is very good. And it's like 30, 35 bucks. So I know that one will be there, but. If there's any other ones you guys know of, let us know. I'd be very curious. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, share, returning to viewers. As always, we appreciate the love. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your comments and your uh, feedback. I try to uh, reach out anytime somebody messages or talk talk to us. We try to hit you back as soon as possible and, and yeah. kind of talk talk with our audience a little bit. So. We're uh, not only friendly. not only talk to the audience, but you know if if any of you guys are growing and and doing your own thing on on your own channel, like I know that I reach out, I follow, I subscribe, and uh, and I I like videos and stuff like that. But with that being said, I uh, I did go ahead and, and rank mine, and um, so what, I, do you, what do you guys have in last place? Last, last number, number four. four. Oh, we all have. We all have the, so we all put Weller in last place. So I'm glad I was right about that. But I would have been so mad if that was in first. So and, you, and what's what's funny about that is like we all agreed that it was a one note kind of kind of yeah. glass, and it, and that's what it drank to. It, it it literally did not did not impress me at all. And so I'm glad that. Prior to, prior to the video, we had our own thoughts, and we all thought that that Weller would finish towards the bottom. So that's a, that's good. And, um, and nothing against Weller. I mean, I really like the 12 year and the Antique 107. Yeah. But Special Reserve for me, it it's a 25 30 dollar bottle. It's a mixer for sure. It's it's <laughs> it's 100 percent a mixer. It's meant to be something that's just really easy to drink, and that's all it was. It was a one noter. It's easy to drink. There's no burn to it. It's it's meant to be something that you just relax and down like it's nothing. I mean, if you're you looking for complexity, that's not it. You share it with your friends that don't drink bourbon. For sure. I always I always try to comment on the video. This is, a, <laughs> this is something that you share with your friends. All right, green so label there. What's also, third place? Uh, Mine was glass one. Yeah. Mine was glass one as well. So everybody got glass one. Makers. Makers. I felt like it was the Makers just because I got a sweet and a fruity note at the same time. But to me, everybody's everybody's different, like I said earlier, but when something hits the spot, it really does. That butterscotch note on glass three hit it for me. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what that one is. So, I like I like that makers. I think I think that's a steal for the twenty five yeah. bucks or whatever it is for a fifth. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, obviously everybody's out there trying to find that special dump makers. <laughs> I currently don't have one to put on my bar, but I can tell you in the last year or so I've been going and yeah. there's that, there's been some uh, moments where yeah. I contemplated, is this considered a dump or is this not considered a dump? So um, let us know in the comments if you get, if you got one down there and you're uh in your bourbon collection, whether or not you got a dunk or not. All right, so, so everybody's second place. I went number two for second. I went, I, I, what was yours? I contemplated back and forth. Glass two? Mine was glass three. No, mine was glass three. Oh, okay. Glass three, glass three, glass two. Glass three is the Bardstown. So glass, uh, my second place finish was the Old Elk. So Which means, winner, Old Elk. Our winner is Old Elk and yours is the Bardstown. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yes, those are the two most expensive out of all of these, but the Old Elk in Northern Kentucky is about $40. It's 92 proof. Um, I had a couple of my buddies buy bottles of these last time they were in Northern Kentucky. <laughs> they weren't half too happy about it, but they will be when they open them. I love this. Yep. I've, that, I drank half a bottle in no time because it, to me, is so sweet and so viscous. I'm not, they're out of Colorado. I've not had any of their stuff. Local store marked it down. Guy was telling me, hey, this is really good. I bought it out of this world. I went back and forth on mine um, and I wasn't too sure, but as I, as I dug into it, you know, I like, Old the Bardstown, the Bardstown 
really fit my palate more than yeah. than the old elk. Yeah. Like I I you know, you got that dusty old book yep. and butterscotch. That was the one yeah, I said was butterscotch heavy. Exactly. And and it just like I contemplated back and forth throughout the video as you know if you're at this point in the video. And um I don't own a Bardstown. I don't I I have I have over a hundred bottles at my house and I do not own one Bardstown. So it's uh you gonna learn today. <laughs> I'm gonna learn today. I and uh you know Bardstown puts out a lot of great things and they do and you know, unfortunately most of the Bardstowns are around a hundred bucks. And um I did do a, I did do a Bardstown flight at uh, the old Kentucky bar down in Covington, Kentucky, and uh, I basically did the entire Discovery series. And my during during that flight, my uh, my favorite choice was the Red Label Discovery series, yep. and um, that was phenomenal. Um, I think I paid it was like thirty five bucks for the for the whole Discovery series uh, flight. And I enjoyed each and every one of them. They all drank hot, but uh, the Red Label was phenomenal. And I just having I haven't ponied up and paid one thirty for for the Red Label. Yeah. But so thank I mean, God they did the Origin series. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And uh, but the Old Elk really did surprise me because that, like I said, going into it, like I was going back and forth, back and forth. And the old elk is phenomenal. It is for sure. So, yeah, well, well, there you have it. Old elk came in number one. Bardstown number two. Uh, Makers. Makers number three, and then the Green Label Weller number four. So Buffalo Trace isn't as great as you guys think. <laughs> and some is. It's. <laughs> but uh, if you're new to the channel again, subscribe, like, share. We appreciate the love. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, we got dropping nukes and Brady. The great. The great. <laughs>